Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks, coming to you today from the streets of Toro, a small town in the province of Castilla Leon, close to the provincial capital Zamora. And I must say that I am impressed by what I have seen so far in this town. To be honest, I wasn't expecting much, but I have been pleasantly surprised. And one of the reasons for this surprise is the architecture and the cultural value of this town, not to mention views like this of the Douro River. And given that the Douro River is so prominent here, this is also a wine producing area and it has its own denomination of origin, which is the Toro denomination. In fact, I had a couple of glasses of Toro wine last night with my meal. Very, very good. Now it's not a very big town, Toro only has a population of around 10,000 people. And I read an interesting fact on Wikipedia, and it was that in 1820 or 1830 somebody visited this town and reported a population of 9,000 people, and there's only 10,000 today, so uh, it hasn't grown much in over 200 years. Now you might be curious about the name of this town, Toro, because as we know, Toro means bull in Spanish, and as you can see there is a Toro behind me there. And some people say that the town got its name because of this animal. But I read something else on the internet that said that that wasn't the case, so I'm not 100% sure where the name Toro comes from. And as I said before, architecture is one of the things that I most like about this town with buildings like this one. In fact, everywhere you go there seems to be some type of fantastic building or church in view like the one I have here. Now, as you can probably guess, these lands behind me are extremely fertile and agriculture, one of the main industries here, apart from the wine industry, of course, there are other agricultural activities and a lot of lush green farming land down there irrigated by the Douro River. The weather in this part of the world, typical of the Castillas, long cold winters and short hot summers. Yesterday was quite a pleasant day, around 30 degrees Celsius and temperatures dropped down to about 9 or 10 degrees last night, so very easy to get to sleep. So I think I've been lucky with the weather. And here's another example of the architectural value that Toto has. And there are quite a few churches to be found in this part of the world. And Toro is famous for an architecture style called Mordeja in Spanish, which if I'm not mistaken is a legacy of the Moorish period here on the Iberian Peninsula. And Toro is a place that reminds you constantly just how important Catholicism is in this part of the world. And when it comes to the layout of this town, fairly similar to other towns and cities here in Spain, you've got the old part, the Casco Antiguo, and then of course you've got a more modern area where a lot of people live because obviously it's cheaper and easier to maintain than these older houses that we have in this part of the city. Not a lot of green spaces in this part of the city. We can see this tiny little park here. I saw a few kids having a run around here yesterday, but I haven't seen too many parks. But then again, I haven't been here for long and I haven't seen the whole of the city, especially some of the newer areas. So it might be different there. And again, I am reminded of the wine industry here in Toro. Spain's a country that's fairly big on recycling. You can see these recycling bins and rubbish bins all over Spanish cities. In fact, I saw somebody criticized that fact the other day in a video on YouTube. He said that recycling bins like these ones behind me are some type of socialist plot. I don't agree with that. People have to recycle. We are in 2021 after all, and we do need to protect the environment, and people that live in these areas also have to recycle, in my opinion. Are they attractive to look at? No, but they are what they are. Now I've also been impressed by the food in this part of the world, not only impressed by the wine, but also by the food. The food here is quite good. It is the typical Castilian fare. Could argue that it's a little bit heavy and that is one of the complaints that some people do have about the cuisine in this part of the world. But when you're walking around these cities doing a lot of touristic things, a heavy lunch does come in handy because it builds up your strength for the rest of the day. And there are plenty of places to eat and drink and try the local cuisine in the center of this city. And you will not be hungry or thirsty during you stay here. And one of the things that always surprises me here in Spain is that you've got very old types of housing here, but if you turn the camera around, you've got modern housing here all in the same street. This place behind me is for sale if anybody's interested in getting their hands on property here in the old part of Toro. But I imagine that it would cost a pretty penny to do it up and another place for sale here. And you could even get a job teaching English at Marissa's School of English. And another thing that's impressed me about this town is the amount of street art that you can see everywhere you go in the old part of town. Another example here, and here, and here. In various places around the town you can find that art. 
Now I'll interrupt the video here to give a shout out and thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes on a wide range of topics that include productivity, health and wellness, personal development, painting, gardening and lots more. Now if you like traveling and are planning a trip to Spain or any other country, you can find classes on Skillshare that will help you make the most of your trip. For example, if you are like me and you love to take photographs of your trips abroad, this travel photography course by Dan Rubin will take your photos to a whole new level. And it's also a good idea to know a bit of the local language before you travel to a foreign country. And on Skillshare you'll find hundreds of classes to help you brush up on your language skills. For me, one of the main advantages of Skillshare is that it has classes to suit any skill level. You can be a beginner, a pro, a dabbler or a master, it doesn't matter. You will find a class to suit you on Skillshare. Another pro is that most Skillshare classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click the link below and take advantage of the offer and check out Skillshare for yourself. Now back to the video. But there is one thing that annoys me about some of these smaller towns and cities here in Spain and it's the fact that they allow cars to circulate in the central parts of these cities, in the Casco Antiguos, the places with all the historical value. I don't know why they just don't ban them. I think it would be a lot easier, better for the environment. It might be a bit of an inconvenience for residents living in this part of the town. But I think you could find a solution for those people. And as you can see here, we've got noisy vehicles everywhere you go in this part of the city and it really annoys me. But it is what it is and that's my gripe for the day. At least you're not allowed to park here. So I'll wrap this video from Toto up. If you're in this part of Spain and you're looking for a nice, clean, small town, 10,000 people as I said, great wine, great food. It has its own denomination of origin wine, the Toro denomination. And you wanna have a look at some great architecture and the cultural offering that this town has, then I definitely recommend the city of Toro. It's an easy city to get to by car, well connected to all of the other cities here in Castilla Leon. Not sure about public transport. I imagine that there are buses that come here, but I'm not sure about trains. I don't think there's a fast train coming to this part of the world, but it's also easy to get to from Madrid by car. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.